The year was 2018, and the dominant coalition of the North, the Birmingham males, were beginning to settle in the central Sabi sand with the Kambula pride. During the following months, the Kambula lionesses gave birth to 15 cubs, which made them the largest pride of Sabi sand. Early in their lives, the pride had over 20 members, not counting the dominant male, so they needed a lot of food. It was tough for the lionesses to hunt enough for everyone, which often led to the youngest members being pushed around at feeding times. Besides that, everything went well for the pride, and the cubs turned into beautiful sub-adults. These sub-adults seemingly had a very secured future as their mothers did well whilst hunting and their fathers controlled the area with an iron paw. In early 2021, a serious threat started to emerge for the Kambulas. The dominant Birmingham males were getting older, and this prompted their northern neighbors to start investigating. The pair of northern Avokas began shifting their attention to the territory and the pride of the Birminghams, and one of the invaders found one of the Birminghams and gave chase. Luckily, the old guard managed to escape due to the intervention by an elephant herd. During the following weeks, the visits of the Avokas began to pile up, and they were frequently seen deep in Birmingham territory roaring and scent marking. One of the brothers even managed to find the new cubs of the pride and ended up eliminating them. With each passing day, it appeared as the legendary reign of the Birmingham Coalition was finally coming to an end. If this wasn't enough of a problem, the coalition of four Nzenga males from the south also sensed the weakness of the Birminghams, and to make matters even worse, one of the Birminghams disappeared around November 2021. The four Nzenga males entered the scene with a confident stride, fully aware and certain that neither the Birmingham male nor the Avokas had the capability to stand up to their superior numbers. They ended up pushing out the last Birmingham male and the Avokas and went right after the Kambula pride. The arrival of the Nzenga males marked the beginning of a new chapter in the lives of the young Kambulas, who instinctively began to keep their distance from these new males who were a direct threat to their existence. They began to drift away from their natal pride to avoid any type of conflict. The task of hunting and surviving on their own was now upon them. Out of all the youngsters, there were six males, two of which moved away from the others and went very far south in Kruger Park where they managed to build an alliance with an older, unrelated male. Along with their partner, they've apparently taken over a significant territory in pride of their own. The other four brothers remained in Sabi Sand, along with one young lioness who, for some reason, decided to leave with the boys rather than staying with the lionesses. Over the year 2022, they moved all over Sabi Sand and tried to keep a low profile to avoid trouble. Their main focus was honing their hunting prowess, and by the end of the year, they'd mastered this art and were seen in good condition. In March 2023, the five siblings were in southern Sabi Sand trailing the buffalo herd when they came across the dominant Gajima males. Despite being superior in numbers, they were no match for the dominant pair, who quickly chased them out of their territory. This led to the Kambulas entering the western sector, where they once again had an encounter. This time it was their half-brother, the Inkahuma male. He was older than the Kambulas, but was on his own, and this resulted in him getting beat up by the youngsters. This was the first time anyone had seen such aggressive behavior by these youngsters, which clearly meant that they were getting ready for a takeover in the near future. For the time being, however, the dominant males of the West, the Plains Camp males, got wind of these nomads on their patch and chased them away. During the latter half of 2023, the Kambulas shifted their attention to the Nkahuma pride for a while. During the same time, their manes began to grow and they started to look more and more impressive. Despite looking promising due to their inexperience, they couldn't secure the position of dominant males of the North and moved out in early 2024. During the following weeks, they ended up clashing with the Plains Camp and the Gajima Coalition, both of which left the youngsters with injuries. Due to the fact that these dominant coalitions were very aggressive and pretty much in total control, the Kambulas decided to return north. They even went as far as Manuleti, which is the territory of the Red Road Mail. 
It seemed like the Red Road male was in trouble due to the arrival of the four males, but he proved everyone wrong when he came to Sabi Sand with his pride and attacked the Kambulas. Chaos ensued as the larger dominant male subdued one of the Kambulas, while another Kambula male mistakenly attacked his own brother in the confusion. Thanks to one of the lionesses, he got away with minor injuries. As of lately, the Kambulas have been involved in a few run-ins with the three nomadic Mbali males and the two Mantamal males. They've also been viewed in the company of a few Mbali lionesses. Whether they stay in Sabi Sand with a pride or move on somewhere else is still uncertain. However, it's clear that these boys are likely to claim their own territory in the near future.